Hey everyone, I'm Barbara. Welcome to my channel, Picky Chick. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm a full-time online seller, mostly on eBay, and I will sell just about anything. Right now, you'll mostly find fashion items in my eBay store. And lately, I've really been honing in on selling jewelry. Today, I'm going to do an unboxing of a mystery box of jewelry from ThreadUp. It's a five pound rescue box. I'm hoping to find some treasures in here that I can relist in my eBay store and flip for a profit. Before we open this box, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Go down there and hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell notification just next to it so you can get notified when I post new videos on my channel. Now, let's go open this box. Let's open this up. So here we are. This is what one side of the bag looks like. And the other. I'm going to dump it out over here in the corner and start digging in. Here are about eight pairs of earrings. Looks like all Christmas theme. Marisol accessories. So there are a couple pairs of Christmas tree earrings. So I have a couple pair of these Christmas tree earrings. And I won't open each and every one up right now, but I'll show you through the packaging. Snowmen. Uh, what is that? Is that a Christmas tree also? I don't think so. I can't make it out right now, but I have a couple of those. Maybe they're not all Christmas. Then I have some oval crystal pierced earrings. Colorful. Those are the other Christmas trees. Oh, they're not all Christmas because these are cute. These are little kitty cats. Put those aside and see if I might be able to sell them. Next is this double strand necklace in browns and ivories. It's really a cute necklace. Different colored beads. They are acrylic and there are these faux endings on this with a lobster clasp. Here's a closer look at the beads. Some of them are faceted. I'm going to take just a minute to explain how I unpack these boxes. If it's something I think I want to sell, like this piece, I will put it in a sell pile. Sometimes it's something that I don't think I want to sell, or if it's broken, I put it in a craft lot pile. The craft lots get sold once I have somewhere between 8 to 20 pounds, it varies, and they're sold and listed in my eBay store and crafters buy them to harvest the parts, to repair, to wear. Um, there are all sorts of components and beads that they end up with. So that's how I am unpacking this box. Next, I pulled out this pair of silver tone leaf dangle earrings. The earrings are kind of lacy. They have a see-through texture design. They're really pretty. They're very lightweight and I think someone would enjoy those. This is a beautiful medallion brooch. It's set in a gunmetal color and the crystals in it are plastic. They are faceted and they still have a really pretty shine, very sparkly. Here's a look at the back. I am not seeing a maker's mark on this one. I think this one would sell, so I will put that in a sell pile. Look at how pretty these beads are. This bracelet is made with glass lampwork beads. I'm showing you up close the different colors of beads. Green, pink, green and yellow, teal, and each one has a crystal in between and each bead also has a flower shaped bead cap. So pretty. And it's finished off with this really cute heart-shaped lobster style clasp. That one is definitely going to land in my cell pile. Here is a double strand of faux pearls. The color is very, very light pink. It's an ivory-ish pink. And there are two sizes of pearls, the larger on the outside, the smaller on the inside. And the strands are connected together with these connectors here in clear 
crystal. How beautiful. Oh, the crystals are real sparkly. Look how they catch the light. And the necklace is finished off with this lobster clasp and an extender. Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to sell this necklace. And by the way, if you see anything from this video that you're interested in purchasing, drop me an email at kitsch.barbara at yahoo.com. It's right here on the screen for you, kitsch.barbara at yahoo.com. And we'll work something out. There were a few packages like this in the group that were covering up all my other jewelry. So I thought I would just pull all the packages out and show you all at once. Um, a couple of these packages right here are paparazzi. This one here looks like all matching. So here are one of the paparazzi pieces in that whole package there. They're actually very pretty earrings with a hematite center stone there, dangle earrings. and. Also in this package, matching this is a ring and a necklace. I think new it sells for $5, so if I do sell it, I'm not expecting a huge return, uh, but we'll see. And also a brand new paparazzi piece is this gold tone bracelet with a faux pearl and a crystal on the, on the ends there. This here is a feather necklace. The label on the necklace is AEO. And it's on a brass tone chain with ivory feathers. Now the card that it's taped to, it looks like, has nothing to do with a necklace. I think that was just taped onto this card. The last piece is this cuff earring with some chain dangles at the end. I love the style of these links on this double strand bracelet. This bracelet is really unique. I love the design. It's got a fold over clasp. Oh, actually it has two fold over clasps. Having two fold over clasps makes it possible to take this link out and then you can reattach the existing link and make the bracelet shorter. And the crystals are on each side, so no matter how it slips around on your wrist, the crystals will show and so will the design of each link. And I'm looking for a mark on this and I am seeing JBK, that's Jacqueline Bouvet Kennedy. This is another piece I'll be able to sell. All the pieces right here are loose beads or broken pieces of jewelry that are all going to go in the craft lot. I had four anchor rings in this lot. And look, they're all double fingered rings. <laughs> Isn't that funny? The ones here are both the identical rings in silver tone. And then there's this one just like it in gold tone. And then this last one is different. This is gold tone, but it has a crystal on it and then a chain going across. I'm thinking there could be a market for these rings. Maybe if you're in the Navy or your family members in the Navy or you like boating. So I don't know. I'm going to put those. I am going to put those in the maybe pile. I forgot to tell you that I also have a maybe pile. And these are pretty dangle earrings. All the beads on here are plastic in the colors of turquoise and blue and red. They're set in gold tone and you can see that there are three sets of seed beads on each side of the dangles. There's something about these that are boho, southwest, kind of Native American feel to me. I think they're really cute. Yeah, I'm going to sell these. Now this is a statement bracelet. Whoa, this is a great looking bracelet. It's got a bow pendant just in the center with crystal embellishments and some faux pearl dangles. It also has this swag style chain on each side of the bow. It has a style similar to Betsy Johnson. It's got an oversized lobster clasp, and let's take a look at that jewelry tag. This is an express piece. This express bracelet is pretty impressive. Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to sell this one. Here's an initial bracelet with a K pendant. This one's brand new. It has some sort of tag. It doesn't have a brand or anything on there that I can see. Well, first it has this magnetic closure here, and you can see that it's textured, it's silver tone several strands of chain and it leads to the center pendant got it upside down with the letter k and then that is surrounded by crystals clear crystals 
So this is really pretty. I'm definitely going to put this one in the cell pile as well. A few more pieces here that are going right into the craft lot. This bracelet is turning here, but it does have a couple of cute little charms on it. There's another anchor there and a saying where there's a will, there's a way. Um, some wooden and plastic beads on this one and a couple of torn fabric beads there, but some other cute beads on there as well. So perfect for the craft lot. Look at this necklace. I'm pretty sure this is an artisan piece. The focus, of course, is this great pendant. It's got a very cool shape here. It almost reminds me of a spider web. The way it's made is really interesting. I'm going to show you this way. Look how these pieces articulate. So they move like that. These are strung on wire, so they can bend. You can bend them around a little bit. And these may or may not be real turquoise beads. If they're not, they're probably halite. I can't quite tell just yet. And then brass tone beads here. It all gathers together at the ends where it's connected to a brass tone curb chain. And then they stuck on a lighter brass tone chain that is a different design. I just really like it. And they put this cube little charm. Oh, wait a minute. Is this a brand or is this an artist name? There is a stamp charm on here, Pam Hiran or Hiran. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. I just took a look on eBay under the sold items for Pam here in necklaces and some of them were listed with her name and then anthropology also. So this is really a special piece. I like it. It looks like a designer. It's just so unique. I'm definitely going to sell this piece. I'm really liking this one. Here's a little set. I'm sure it's handmade or homemade. These are glass beads, square shaped have a really pretty swirl design in browns and creams. This close-up gives you a better idea of the pretty design in the beads. I like this. And there's another heart-shaped lobster clasp like the one that we saw earlier. Another homemade piece, very likely made by the same person as the last bracelet because there is that heart-shaped lobster clasp again. But these are really pretty square floral beads. They're plastic. This is going in the craft lot simply because the wire it's strung on has gotten bent up so the bracelet will not stay straight. It kind of bends up like that. Very pretty beads though. Look at the beautiful beads on this necklace. These beads are frosted glass heart shaped and they're so beautiful. They have flowers painted on them and they are double sided so there's a design on each side. You see that familiar heart clasp once again. I like the way that the artist finished this in like a twisted cylinder bead with little silver dots in between. When I pulled the necklace out, I thought I saw another necklace just like it, but it was a matching bracelet. So this is a set right here. I may list them separately or together. I'm not sure just yet. So pretty and very much the same design as the pieces we just saw, except this is just made with all pink beads with green painted designs of floral designs on them. These are just so beautiful. Take a look at this bracelet. This is a cuff bracelet. You can see there's a brass tone base right there. The whole entire bracelet is covered with crystal rhinestones all around. Mostly in browns and olive greens. It has some clear crystals, rectangular crystals, and square crystals all over it. This is really something. I'm taking a look to see if there is any sort of maker's mark on here. Now there is a little bit of wear on the inside, but that doesn't really matter because you can't see that when you're wearing the bracelet. I cannot find a maker's mark on this. It's so hard to believe. This is such a gorgeous piece. I just had to try it on. <laughs> this is quite a piece. My wrists are kind of small, so they fit in, in that little opening there. I will say if you have larger wrists, this would be a little bit of a challenge because even though there's a little bit of flexibility with opening that up, you don't want to mess with it too much because you might crack one of those settings off and you don't want to do that. And we have a few more pieces of natural stone. There's two bracelets and this necklace. They're all earth tone browns and greens. 
There's that heart clasp again, so it's safe to say the same person made this necklace, which is quite pretty, like the color combination here. Here's a better look at the stones on the bracelets. These are uh, rectangular polished stones, and these are faceted, and they're more of a matte finish on these. I like the earth tones in these stones. Well, this makes me really happy. What we have here is a Pandora bracelet. If you've never seen a Pandora bracelet before, this is the signature clasp. Of course, it's stamped Pandora. There is a place right there where that slit is, right there, that you can open it, and that's how you put it on and take it off. It has a serpentine chain on it. It's in pretty good shape. It looks pretty shiny, and you can see that there's a charm. Let's take a look, closer look at that charm. Well, this is a gold high heel shoe, and the shoe is hanging off of this silver charm that is stamped with 925 ALE. And this shoe charm here can be removed from the bracelet in the same way that the clasp opens. It kind of hinges open. I'm going to go see right now on eBay what that shoe charm might be selling for. I quickly looked on eBay sold and saw that this charm has sold for anywhere between $25 and $50. It is listed as a 14 karat gold and sterling silver charm. That's good news. And I also have the bracelet. So yes, I really am happy that I found this in this lot. This is a set of three stretch bracelets. They look like they're abalone, brown abalone shell. There's a Maker's Mark little tag on there, and we have a Cookie Lee bracelet set. I do love the shimmer of these beads. It catches the light in such a pretty way. There is a third, the third bracelet here. You can see it's a bit stretched out as far as the elastic goes. I'm very tempted to restring this because it's not hard to do at all. And of course, I would disclose that in the listing. And maybe I'll go ahead and list these because Cookie Lee does have a following. There were quite a few rings in this lot. Here are the first three I want to show you. First is this ring, this gorgeous ring. Look at the sheen and the sparkle in this ring. These crystals have an AB finish, Aurora Borealis. Love the color it gives off. And this one is adjustable, you can see right there. It does have something printed on the inside. It says Pat a patent pending. Okay, this must be vintage because every time I've ever found patent pending in jewelry, it is a vintage piece. Well, that's gorgeous. So I love it. <laughs> I love this ring a lot. Next is this ring. This is made of shells and crystals and then a pearl right there. It's made from wire. There we go. Isn't that pretty? The shells are wired on there and placed to look like a flower. I'm really liking that a lot. Of course, the ring can be adjustable too, the way it's made. And now we have this ring. This is a silver dome ring and you can see it has some cuts in it. It's more a matte or a brushed silver. I'm seeing something inside that must be stamped. Let's see what it says. That says 925. FAS tie. So it looks like we have ourselves a sterling silver ring and I, I do like it a lot. It's very unique. I'm going to size this and see what size this is. It looks like the size on this is about six and a quarter to six and a half. I'm going to acid test this just to make sure it is 925. I think it is and I'll put on the screen right here whether I found it to be 925 or not. I love the ring though. I really love the ring. This is cute. This is a floral pendant necklace, larger pendant in the center with two smaller ones on each side. And then the center of the flower is a light pink crystal and there's a darker pink enameled on the flower. Let's turn this over. And that says, that says Pilgrim. Here's what the chain looks like on the necklace. It's a delicate Rolo chain. Lobster clasp, extender, and Danish design. Let's see. Okay, Pilgrim, 
Danish design. And then there's a little flower charm at the end. Very cute. I'll have to do more research and see what this necklace can fetch. I've never found Pilgrim before, so I can't say I'm that familiar with it, but I will certainly look into it. I just pulled this group of rings out of this lot, and every single one of these rings are stretch rings. Now, I have a two-part question for you. Number one, are you a ring wearer? And number two, if you are a ring wearer, do you wear stretch rings? Let me know down in the comment section. These are all in really good shape, and I find them really pretty, every single one of them. Let me start by showing you this one up closer. There's the stretchy part here, and it is a gorgeous cut crystal. It feels like a glass, not plastic, and look at how it catches the light. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm loving that one. Another crystal one, this has a copper tone stretch part and pink and clear crystals, and all the crystals are there. This next ring is more of a gunmetal stretch part and setting with grayish tan crystals, also very beautiful. These two rings are a little bit similar. On the right is more of a hammer texture metal on top with black crystals, the bottom being a silver stretch. And then there are some clear crystals on this one with a pearl center. I think these are really pretty stretch rings. Here are two more. These are more of the gold tone. The one on the right has that round gold crystal with some filigree on top and then a darker gold bottom. And then this one has that coral color cabochon, round cabochon, with a lighter gold stretch part. Here's another one in gold. This is a statement ring with cut out geometric design, sort of an aztec -y feel to it, I think. And here's another one in an antique silver tone with a circular design. And finally, there's one that spells out love. That's adorable. That's the stretch ring collection in the lot. I can't wait to hear what you guys think of stretch rings. Let's take a look at this necklace. First, get a load of this pendant. This pendant is so pretty. This is a faceted light taupe colored crystal pendant in the center. And it is surrounded by these crystals, two layers of AB crystals, and the center layer is clear crystals. It is double-sided. Isn't that beautiful? I've never seen anything quite like this one. Taking a look at the rest of it, it's made with these gold tone textured loopy links, oval links, more crystals. Isn't this pretty? And then at the very end, each side has a double layer chain in gold tone, very delicate chain. And on the end, there's a lobster clasp and an extender. While there is no maker's mark on this, I think it's a real stunning necklace. Loving the design, really unique pendant there. So this one definitely I'll be selling. Next is this pretty pair of chandelier earrings. The color scheme in this just reminds me of the fall, like around Halloween and Thanksgiving. I like the colors a lot. This is what the back looks like. No name or anything, just really pretty earrings though. Here's another pair of earrings. I really like these a lot. I would venture to say that these could be J. Crew earrings. Now, I'm noticing right away that there is a missing pearl on one of the earrings. Might be an easy fix. I'm going to take a look around to see if I have any pearls that size that I could replace that piece with. And they've got a cream colored cabochon center and the round cabochon there, gold tone setting, and it's flanked by these faux pearls along the bottom. Love the design of these. Here's what the back of the earring looks like. So I'm going to do my best to find that replacement pearl and I'll put these in the cell pile. Here's a pretty cool necklace. This is a brass tone chain and you can see the pendant is very unique. It's got this semicircle cabochon. It's probably sodalite. Here's a better look at that pendant. And then it has a really pretty bead cap there that's holding the tassels that are coming down from it. The pendant is connected to a pretty long chain in brass tone. And it is finished off with this lobster clasp and this extender right here. 
There is no brand on this necklace. It feels very well made, got a nice substantial weight to it. And I just think that pendant is really pretty. It's very different. Here's another group of earrings I plan to sell, each a little bit different. This is a pair of dangle earrings with some green and cream cabochons. I like the color combination on these. The beads appear to be plastic. They are double-sided, so they look the same either side. And then these little hoops, each bead is cat eye. There's a closer look at the beads on these. I think they're really colorful and I plan to list those as well. And then there are these post earrings here, rectangular faceted green stone. They are set in gold tone and here's a closer look. It's a classic look. Love the emerald green color in these. So these will all get listed in my eBay store. This is a really pretty ring. There's a flower center. The petals are red enamel, and there's some enamel design on each side of the flower. I don't know what these are called. I'm calling them notches, but I like the way that the ring is flanked with these notches. Now, this feels like it could be silver, and I am looking to see if there's, I see something stamped in there. Let's take a closer look at that. There you can see it's stamped with 925. Now I will test this just to be sure and I'll put on the screen if I found it to be 925. I'm going to size this on the ring mandrel and it looks like this is a size 8. Here's a statement necklace that is layered. It's got gunmetal and silver tone chains and you can see the Rivoli style crystals on one of the layers here. A more up close view for you here of the crystals. There's also a layer of rhinestones here. There are a couple of layers of curved chain and like I said, some silver tone, different style chain as well. Then it's all connected to more chunky curved chain here with an extender. Now this one does have a label and the label or logo rather is Vera. That's sold at Kohl's. It's a Vera Wang brand. I think this statement necklace is gorgeous. I'm definitely going to put that in my sale pile. Here's a boho style Tibetan type of necklace. I'm loving this pendant. The pendant is gold tone. It's got some texturing on this part and there is turquoise colored beads set there. There are some black and teal colored beads here. I just like the way that they use the colors together. These are panels. So this is a separate link together here. And I just like it. I like it a lot. I would say that the chain looks like it's starting to turn. So this could be worn as is right now. And even if the chain does turn eventually, it looks like it would be a pretty easy fix to replace the chain on this one. This does have a lobster clasp and an extender. There's not a maker's mark on this one, but it's a really pretty necklace. We got quite a variety of jewelry in this five pound box from ThreadUp. I don't know what my favorite piece is. I have a couple that I can point out offhand. This Pandora bracelet with this 14 karat gold charm. And then there was this Pam Heron necklace. I also, there are a couple of sterling silver rings and some really cool statement pieces. Let me know down in the comment section if you had a favorite piece from this lot or what you thought about the lot in general. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for coming in for another video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Today I'm going to do an unboxing of a day.